Hi there, I'm director of photography Alec Watson and I've got a tutorial on the difference between the develop suite and the edit suite. They both change your pictures, but differently. Why? Why would I use one over the other? So I have got a great example. So the develop suite is our awesome place where we get to non-destructively change all sorts of things about our photos. It does it, as I said, non-destructively, meaning it's not changing your raw file or your JPEG or whatever you're gonna use. I've got, a, I've got a raw file in this case. But it also tends to do things, what we call globally, not, not everything. We can make some selections, uh, which we've done previously, but say things like if we wanted to use the skin softening. We used uh, in a tutorial skin tuning, right? Well, if we were to go and use skin tuning in this file, you'll notice, I'm gonna really crank it to make this obvious. I crank it up and it totally softens out her hair while it, it's doing her face. And it's just like, I cannot separate those two. And it's just like, well, crikey, I can't use the develop suite. Well, we have the edit suite. The edit suite is a layered editor where you can make uh, all sorts of selections and do all sorts of edits. Pretty much, it's like Photoshop. So we'll take this photo and we're gonna head on over to the edit suite. And bam, it looks pretty similar. Over on our right side though, it says layer, layer one. So this is where we get to work a little differently. And we see there's a big toolbar across the top. Now suffice it to say the future holds edit suite tutorials, all sorts of them, with deeper dives and explanations of all these things. For this one, we're just concentrating on the differences. And so, in the way that I could not skin soften her face without affecting her hair, here is a quick version of how we can do that. We select a selection brush. We've got it as a smart brush in magic mode, which means I can go and select her skin really quickly and easily. Now, as you'll remember, just like in develop mode, I am not actually painting her face red. It's showing me my selection. I can toggle that on and off here. The reason I like that on is if I'm selecting the skin on her face and I can't see what I'm doing, that's kind of tricky. So we have this color preview so I can see where I have painted. So as I said, I'm aided by the, that magic selection. There we go, we'll do a little bit on her neck. Awesome, we can make our brush bigger with the scrolling on the mouse and we'll get her arms. Boom, there we go, there is a selection. Now over on the right hand side is adjustment layers. We, if we hover over them, we can see what the name is. Apparently I can't say hover very well. Hover over them, we have skin tune. I'm gonna click Skin Tune, and presto, it makes a Skin Tune layer. This is now an adjustment layer. We can see that it, there's a little kind of photograph in, that's just black and white tones. And what that means, that is called, it comes from the Photoshop world, uh, called a layer mask. It's exactly the same in Ultimate here. Where it's black, our effect's not gonna do anything. Where it's white, our effect is going to make changes. We can see it's white where her face and arms are. We can slide in skin smoothing. We can go really heavy handed and it's not affecting her hair. We of course don't wanna go that heavy handed. We will dial up something kinda of nice and smooth. While we're in here, I'll show you another little secret thing that you might wanna do. Uh, I'd like to punch up her hair and without affecting her face. I wanna make, make her hair more contrasty, but we wouldn't wanna do that to her face, right? So we're gonna make an adjustment layer of curves that pops in there. I'm gonna copy this layer mask and I am going to paste that as a mask in there. At the moment, if I were to make a curve, it's actually just doing her face and not her hair. There we go. And it's doing her arms as well, of course. It's doing exactly like the skin tune, but I can take this, I can right click and I can invert that mask and bam, I mean, it's heavy handed. We'll dial that down, but there we go. If I toggle that on and off, 
I'm adding contrast and saturation to her hair without affecting her face. And I've got skin tune just on her face. And I did it really easily with a little selection tool. And that's the kind of power that you have in the edit suite. Look for future tutorials on the edit suite where we dive deeper into all sorts of techniques you can use to make your photos amazing. <laughs>